Okay, so we'll jump into the item category configuration today. So as I told you earlier, I will quickly repeat that there would there are few configuration which is important. Okay, so what are the configuration which is important when you create sales order? As soon as you create the sales order, there is a header. In the header, you have an order type. So order type controls a lot of things that we have already gone through in the last session. That what are the things order type would be controlling? That part we have gone through. Then after the order type, there would be line items. Item 10, item 20, item 30, right? These item would be controlled through the configuration. There would be, you can say it as an item document type. That is called item category. Okay, and we, we don't manually order type. Yes, we manually enter it, but generally item category, we don't manually enter it. System automatically determine it. If you have noticed when you're creating a sales order, your uh, sales order you have created with order type OR, system would be having item category 10. Right? So that item category is automatically populated and it would be controlling a lot of different, different things for this particular item. So order type was controlling for the full order. This item category, the configuration will be having that would be controlling for this particular order, particular item, right? And then there would be one more thing would be there under the item category. Under the item category, you would be having a schedule lines. Okay, schedule line 10, 20, 30, schedule lines also would be there. Schedule lines would be having for this particular uh, item. What is the schedule? Uh, 100 quantity, I am sending it on 1st of February. 200 quantities, I am sending of 3rd of March. So that schedules would be there. That is comes under the schedule lines. Okay. All the materials which you need to physically deliver and you need to create, create the delivery document, PGIS, you need to do. That would be having a tab for the schedule lines. When you double click on that, you will be able to go into the schedule lines and you would be able to check what are the different schedule lines are available. These schedule lines would be controlled through schedule line category. Okay, these schedule lines would be controlled through the schedule line category. Order type, we maintain it manually, but the item category, We'll have, we will try that we have auto determination, although manually also you can maintain or change it. Schedule line category also will to try to have auto determination. So that system should be automatically determined what should be a schedule line category. So today we are going to talk about the, uh, the configuration of your item categories. This configurations, what are the different kind of item categories are available? What kind of uh, fine tune uh, of in the configuration you can do it? and schedule line category that what kind of play around you can do it with the schedule line categories that's what we are going to discuss in the today's session